Hello friends, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching this video. Friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the stock of Titan Pharmaceuticals and this is the weekly chart of this particular stock. So after a very long time, uh, so the, as you can see the stock has been you know sharply moving on the towards the downside or as you can see the downside has been persistent in the last three or four years but uh, the way the market has been positioned you will probably see some sort of trading bounce okay just <coughs> mark my word when i'm saying a trading bounce it means it's a short term it doesn't have any sustainability there is no surety for that that it will sustain so one should take it with a pinch of salt that it will not sustain okay so we are going to look the trend like this only now with that because the stock has bounced back from the lows of 2000 uh, from the lows of 2020 or uh, at from the level which is 0 0.09 understand this 0 0.09 so do not try to bet below if the stock falls below 0 0.09 don't do that if it sustain above that on or above that then it's a different case now the stock has made a lower low and trying to move from that level so your final support will be 0 0.09 now if the stock started moving upwards then you have your next target at 0.14 then you have 0.19 uh, you have 0.43 and your final target for the time being will be 0.57 okay so inside this you will have you can see the stock is moving inside this range unless okay first of all you should not think that the stock will go beyond 0.57 unless it actually will but if it goes in case so in case if the stock started <coughs> moving above 0.57 then the scenario will be different okay so this is completely conditional that if the stock moves and sustain above 0.57 then you have your next target at 1.14 followed by 2.3 and you have four dollars okay and actually i can go as high as this level because the reason behind that is anyhow it is these levels are conditional but <laughs> we have seen this kind of moves and if somebody places strict stop losses then if any kind of big move one or two trading session that would be enough else one need not to carry any uh, positions afterward as well so i can go as long as 16 dollars on the upside as you can see these are all conditional levels if the stock prolet the so for example if the cross uh, if, if the stock crosses above 0.58 then your immediate support or the stop losses one has to place either at 0 0.57 or 0 0.543 if it crosses above 1.14 then one should place its stop losses in between 1 and 1.14 so this is the way or in which you are going to you know place your stop losses and strictly man maintain that and let the stock decide okay if you want to decide your limit is fixed 0 0.57 if it moves above that so i have given all the target or the resistance level but these are all conditional uh, just think about that and there is no sustainability that's also a thing which you need to understand here otherwise if a swing trade happens if a big things happen you will get the uh, opportunity to earn some benefit or rip out some benefit from the trade in the short term so this is the end of the video if you like this content do share your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe my channel lastly take care of your family and friends